G'day tankers and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm bringing you a battle on Pearl River in my T-34-3, the Chinese Tier 8 me medium tank. Um, what can I say about this tank? I really do enjoy it. It is... it's not the fastest, it's not It's not a Type 5-9, um, which, which I don't have, which is sad, but what are you going to do? But this is actually quite a fun tank to use, although it only has three degrees of gun depression, which is a massive handicap. However, um, there will be some examples in this replay where that where it's shown that that's not a major issue if you, um, uh, what's the word, cater for this lack of gun depression? And I'll point those out when I see them. So, start the replay. When it starts. There we go. Alright, I don't know what happened there, that was a bit of a, a bit of a lag. So this was um this game I was actually showing a friend of mine World of Tanks for the first time. He he'd never seen it, so I was actually explaining to him what was going on, which is why I haven't moved yet. So what we're gonna do is like in my medium tanks we will move down to the um bottom left hand corner of this map and juke it out with their mediums. There's a Tiger P coming this way which I'm not sure why he's doing that. So as you can see it's a tier 9 game although there's only one tier 9 on each side so it's pretty much a tier 8 game. So we might speed this up because this is quite slow and tedious. And there's, there's an AMX. First blood. As you can see, gun depression is very bad. Makes it very difficult to um, go hold down. In certain parts of the map, it's not like a, um, a pattern or anything like that. You can't go hold down in the traditional sense. So we finish off that um, MX from 3090. And um, another thing about this gun, it's got pretty bad aim time. I currently run a gun rammer, a gun lane drive, and a vertical stabilizer to assist in the um, aim time of this gun. I also run run food to just give it a little bit extra in everything. And it works quite well. So we're going to be quite aggressive here and just move up and try and take this M Panther M10. Just checking our angles. We take a shot too late on the Panther. And the point of these mediums is you've got to be moving up and be aggressive. It's a T-37. T-6 American light tank. And we just miss. And the great thing about this gun is it can really hit our enemies hard. Now there's people asking us to cap, which I don't know why, because it's fairly even at the moment, although it is about to take the turn for the worst. This gun's also very troll. There he goes. He's gone. Now we haven't done much damage so far. We've done one kill. Now, as you can see, up on the map here, there's all these enemies, and that's where this is when I start deciding well we've got to go over here and try and take these guys on. Because there are what? One, two, three, four probably the whole of the enemy team, which is probably about six tanks there. We don't know 
have time to go and take on that T-34 at this time. There's people in the chat going a little bit crazy for some reason. As I've always said, why rage in chat? So we're in a good position to take some shots on side shots on these tanks. Tyler P. Lots of juicy hit points for us. Nice hit on the T3. It's not a T34. T25. Two? View range on this tank's actually fairly decent as well. Nice unaided shot there. Went straight in. And this is the reason I like this tank. I can, I can fire for nice big hits, and you can stay. You don't have to stay exposed for as long. So your DPM is actually neat, fairly good. Like it's not the best of all the medium tanks, but it means you can be, you can put big hits in, and you can be more cautious because of that. And I like my tanks that I can be cautious in. And we missed that shot again. Well, we don't miss it. We just failed to connect it first. Now we're going to try and finish with this Tiger P. And can't hit him, so we're going to go for this IS. Unfortunately, we miss, but he bounces us. We've got pretty much got a hold down T29 up there, which is a major threat at this moment. Oh, side shot, and we miss. This gun is pretty derpy, although I probably wasn't playing the best at this time. And we're just going to show you what you can do to these. What we can do here, we can just bait him. Put him around in. And we ricochet. Now that's not foolproof, you can... That can, that can work against you. I guess Capola nice and weak, and we're also very close. And there he goes. Total traversal on all Chinese tanks is really nice as well, nice and quick. Which means you can circle the tanks fairly well. I wouldn't recommend it. Huge amount though. Oh, T34. And SU. Now, frontal armor of this uh, is actually quite good. It's 190 mil, which means that guy can't pin us. There are multiple points here, I'm getting quite lucky. And pretty much I'm just spotting for our team. Now, I probably shouldn't have taken that hit. That was probably very unwise. And now, right now, we've got... So there's only one guy left on the enemy team, but it's the tier 9. He's, on most, he's got most of his health left over. And we've just got myself and a T30... T fifty four E one. Jesus, I'm not. I'm not doing too well, am I? Oh boy. And then we get some weird, um, some weird uh, spin. I'd actually forgotten that happened. Um, See, so yeah, we're gonna try and sneak up and try and get some flanking shots. However, this um, IS eight's at in a good sort of hold down position, and the train's working towards him.
frustrating thing about this tank is um, you it, it depends on 175, so being in a tier tier nine game kind of sucks. Oh dear. As you can see, I'm not, not a very good shot this game. Although we've done 3,000 damage, which is nice. And basically we're going to distract this guy. Oh, we should have aimed that shot. That was silly. At least we did some damage to him on the ram. Five minute warning. I didn't actually mean to do that, but... As you can see... T54 has no issues with finishing him off, which is good. And yeah, that's that, That's the game. So we'll go to the post-game stats and check that out. As you can see, this was my mastery game. Uh, we earned 121,167 uh, credits. This was on a premium account as well. And we earned 10,000 XP, which went quite well towards my um, skills. So... So yeah, we got Fire for Effect, which is f f do more damage than we have hit points. Fighter, kill f four or more tanks. Duelist, actually, is that one? Yes, that's the right, that's one. Duelist, um, destroy at least two enemy vehicles that cause damage to you. And Bruiser, which is damage enemy modules, which is nice. XP wise, I was top of the team, not quite in damage. Um, the Yay Panther and the T54E1 beat us, but he played a very good game and I'm very glad he was in this game because he managed to take it out for us. On XP in there, is this, it was the um, IS-8, he played a really good game as well. He got he got, also got top damage on their team with 4,245, 4, I'm not doing very well am I? And uh, we stopped him from getting a top gun which is um, unfortunate to him because he did uh, quite a well quite a well played game. So shots fired, we fired 23, we only hit with 15 and we've penetrated with 11 causing 3,561 damage all up. We've received 6 hits um, of which 3 penetrated and 3 were bounces. Damage blocked by armor at 1,000. Um, you don't tend to block a lot of damage in this tank. Like you, you, if you get into the right spot and they're able to use your, your, your turret armor, which is 190 millimeters, um, you can get you can do quite well. So we've just we damaged nine enemy vehicles. We destroyed four. Um, got 1,259 assistance damage. Distance traveled 2.97 kilometers, and as I say, the profit was um, 89,807. And uh, yeah, this was during a Times 5 event. The um, We got 2002 experience first up, which is pretty good for a game like this. But the fact we got Times 5 to 10,000 was brilliant. Well, that's the end of that game. Um, I've got plenty more to come. I've got, I've got um, three more replays I'm going to record today. Um, just so when I can upload them, I will. And you obviously know when I upload them because you'll be listening to this. So, um, thank you for your, uh, what, would, what would I call it, your uh, loyalty and waiting for me. I hope, um, I hope it was worth the wait and I will see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.